the new love. So first card we got is the Six of Pentacles reverse. We have Death reverse. And then we have the Six of Cups reverse. So this is a new love reading. So you guys just take what resonates and leave out what does not apply to your situation. So there is somebody that is overextending themselves, Leo. And whoever this is, this is somebody that has not changed. It's like, this is somebody that's willing to be a provider. This is somebody that's willing to give to you, Leo, without you having to do anything for this person. But it's telling me that even though that behavior from your new person has not changed far as them providing, giving to you, you know, I feel like something may be a little bit off with y'all connection. Some of y'all experience saying that this person is not your soulmate. This new person that, that is providing and giving to you, they're not your soulmate. But we're going to see. We're going to see why. What's going on with this new person? What else is happening with this new person in Leo? What else is happening with this new person spirit in Leo? Okay, we got the butterfly. So something happened where it's like your person want to continue to give to you in this situation or relationship, right? But I feel like this could be like y'all dating. So some of y'all, this person, is you're dating this new person right now, right? And they're doing the most for you. But one of y'all want a relationship and the other person don't want a relationship because we got butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, growth. So yes, I feel like one of y'all may not be ready for a change in regards of love, Leah. Like you'll take the benefits that comes with them and enjoy the experience with this person, but you just may not be ready for a relationship. Or if you want to reverse this energy, maybe they may not be ready for a relationship, although they may be giving themselves in a relationship. Now, some of y'all, if you a man, maybe you are the one providing to this new love and you want a relationship with this person. You want to make, you know, move things further, but maybe they could be telling you that they don't want that. Y'all, like I said, flip flop the energy. It may be backwards for some of y'all, but I feel like that behavior has not changed with this person. The person has, you know, that continues to provide, like, that's a good thing, right? But one of y'all is just not ready for the next stage of this relationship. But let's see. What else with this new love in Leo? Wow. Wow. We got heart with keys. So some of you guys, your heart may be with somebody else. And that could be the reason why you may reject this person's offer of love. Because you may have an open heart for another individual. And it's crazy because the new person fell in love with you. But I feel like your heart and your heart, it belongs to somebody else. It's just somebody that you find it very difficult to let go of, Leo. Or it can be the other way around. Maybe they're finding it very difficult to let go of somebody from their past that they are still in love with. Yup, Six of Cups reverse. This is somebody that they're not dealing with right now. Yup, they can't stop thinking about it. We got outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in their head. So somebody's heart is with somebody else. Whether this is your heart with somebody else or their heart with somebody else. Y'all just pick a side. You may be on. But they can't stop thinking about that person. This is somebody that's just used to the past. But I feel like whoever it is that they have let go of or somebody that have let go of them, right? Okay, the person that's in love with another person, right? That person may have left them or I feel like that, that person may have left them behind. Or this could be you. Maybe the person that you in love with, maybe you had to let them go or they let you go. But you can't stop thinking about this person and you cannot get this person out of your heart. Heart. So it's like you can't get this person out of your head and your heart. Or they cannot get this person out of their head and their heart. So let's dive deeper and see 
what else is taking place between you and this person. Because I feel like one of y'all heart still belongs to somebody from your past or somebody you just recently walked away from or maybe they recently walked away from you Leo but it is telling me that y'all do have a good person on y'all hands but somebody just not ready to take it to the next level and it's crazy because they look at they look at you as perfect for them you know but your mind is not with this your heart and your mind is not with this person it's with somebody else that's gone Some of y'all ain't gonna end up like walking away from them or they may end up walking away from you but it is going to constantly have somebody thinking though that's too many cards i need three cards spirit somebody's gonna be thinking about this situation whether this may leave um you thinking about it because you rejected them or maybe they will be left thinking about it because you rejected them you know but i don't know Wow, we got the Queen of Cups reversed. So I just feel like it may have this person in their feelings, running away in their feelings, Leo. It's like this separation between y'all, it has them in their feelings. This is if you have walked away from them already and rejected them. We got the Ten of Swords reversed. Some of y'all could be coming off as cold to this person. Some of you guys, not everybody. Or they could be coming off as cold to you. No matter who rejected rejected who, right? One of y'all could still could be feeling some form of a pain within you. Because I'm just getting this energy that one of y'all don't feel bad about this ending because you have been betrayed before. You still find it very difficult to let. So it's like, for example, Leo, if you if your heart's still with somebody else and this person, this new person offers you a love offer, right? And your heart is with somebody else, right? You still could be holding some form of resentment, you know, of the past. And you could be taking it out on the new person. Some of you guys could be doing that or they could be doing that to you. But I am seeing that somebody definitely could be in their feelings and they don't feel bad about rejecting somebody's love because they still could be feeling that loss. It's like they 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 feel victimized, like they could be feeling like the victim of the situation of some form of pain and betrayal that has happened to them. OK, what else? Wow. We got the Queen of Wands reversed. Yep. Some of somebody, whether it's you or them, take what resonates. Somebody is finding it very difficult to mentally let go of some form of pain, some form of loss, some form of betrayal from their past, from somebody that walked away from them. Somebody walked away from you, Leo, and you could be taking it out on a new person or they walked away or they walked away from you and could be taking it out on you. Some of y'all this person may not even be your type for real. The new person. Wow. Some of y'all could, could be being cold or somebody being cold to you. I don't like this energy because some of y'all could be being cold to, to, the, to a new person because you could be hurt about your past. I am getting that. And it, it kind of like gave an ego boost a little bit to somebody that is hurt. And I'm talking about the person that felt like they had to reject a new person. Love offer. With that nine of cups right there. I'm just seeing at the bottom of the deck. We got girl talk right here. Oh, wow. Somebody cold. I ain't gonna lie. We got soulmate. Somebody moving cold. Like. But it's out of pain. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, Leo. Some of y'all, this is y'all. Maybe you could be bragging to your friends or your family that you had to reject somebody. Or somebody or this person could be talking to somebody that is close to you that you know. Or they could be talking to somebody close to them about you. Even if this is the person that got rejected, right? This person, somebody's bragging about it. Or it could just be saying that you could be talking to this person about your past. And the person that you, the new love could be heard about it. Because maybe you keep bringing up your ex. 
or they keep bringing up their ex. Like I said, if y'all have to flip flop the energy, it may be backwards, but somebody's still bringing up a soulmate situation and they're still talking about it. We got talking. All this talking right here. But you know what I'm saying? The person that you felt like you had to reject, Leo, that was doing the most for you, the new love that, that you rejected, that yes, that person is hurt, Leo. That person is definitely hurt because they thought that they was having fun with you. And now it's like they could be... One of y'all are talking to other people on the outside. I don't know why, but one of y'all are talking to other people on the outside about this rejection. Or it could just be saying somebody keep bringing up their ex. Or it could just be you bringing up your ex over and over. But somebody is like finding it very difficult to like let go of some form of betrayal, some form of pain. You know, from a soulmate connection. But if you are the person that is still thinking about your ex and they're still in your heart and your, your mind, Leo... The person that walked away from you, they talking crap about you behind your back. The person that left you behind, that person, it, they ain't no good. I understand that some of y'all find it very difficult to let go of this person out of your heart and out of your mind, but this person is, they ain't no good. They talking bad about you behind your back. You know, they're really not physically attracted to you. And it's like the person that you could be rejecting is the person that actually does value you. And you could be brushing it to the side because you still could be hurt about the simple fact that your ex has left you. And you still love them. Let's dive deeper. Like I said, don't take it personal. I'm just a messenger. But that's the energy that I'm picking up on. I feel like one of y'all, you or the per the you or the new person is still thinking about their ex, still talking about their ex to other people or to the person that you're currently dating right now. And it's it's like somebody got rejected. That's crazy. I'm seeing the background energy too of the person that left you. Somebody's in their feelings because you want to be single. And it's all because of some form of betrayal from the past. Like I said, yep, I knew it. We got the lovers reversed. You don't love them. You want to be single because, because you somebody left you. You just don't feel like yourself, Leo. Some of y'all are not feeling whole inside. Like you don't feel like you're capable of being in a relationship right now because of a past person that has left you, Leo. But it is telling me that some of y'all could be wanting to be single and, and having to walk away. Because... You still feel some form of pain and it's like you love the past. You miss like you still heart in your your heart and your mind is still with the past, although you're talking to somebody new. But at the same time, it's like you find it very difficult to let go of that betrayal. It's like you love the past, but then again, you could be holding some form of resentment towards the past. One second. Somebody is calling me. I feel like you like you love the past still and your mind is still with them also with your heart, but you still mad at them at the same time and you could be taking it out on a new love. We got the four of pentacles. Yep, I knew it because you're still holding on. It's like you could be holding on to that other soulmate. Some of y'all are walking away from this new love. Because you feel like that's just, you playing it safe. You know what I'm saying? You still hold on to a, a past situation. Mentally, emotionally. And maybe even physically. But I'm seeing that they walked away. Yep. Some of y'all just need time to yourself or them. Somebody need time to them to they self to heal. Somebody needs time for themselves to heal. Somebody is rejecting a new love. It's like I said, somebody will enjoy the experience with this new love and all what they are doing for them. You know, they'll take that. But 
far as moving to the next stage of this relationship, I feel like y'all just don't want that because you, your heart is with somebody else. You feel like they're moving too fast. You feel like they're moving too fast. Some of y'all, maybe you just want to be a player. Some of y'all, that could be the case. Maybe you just want to be a player. Maybe you have your mind made up to be in this state of being a player. Like I said, you will enjoy the experience of being with this person and the benefits that come with them. But far as being in a committed relationship with them, mm -mm. I don't feel like that's what you want. I feel like y'all already made up your mind to like be a player or just to um, let this person go. It's one or the other. You could either be letting them go or you could just be wanting to mix and mingle and do your own thing without settling, you know, without being in a relationship. Yeah, somebody stuck. Somebody stuck on the past. You know what? Let me pull some of these Oracle cards. What's the vibe Oracle cards? Because I need to know. Because it's telling me that y'all could be ended up walking away from the new person or the new person may not accept that from you and they may end up walking away from you because you may not feel the same way that they feel so somebody rather just play it safe and just be alone that's crazy yeah they feel like they have they need to have some form of control of the situation now some of y'all have somebody walk away from you that was a, a a child's mother or child's father of yours maybe you have kids with this person not everybody just take what resonates the rest of you guys it could just be telling you letting go of somebody and because you need to find like you you just it's all about you know staying grounded and having that control some of y'all feel like y'all need to have that control over this situation because you still hold on to something else you it's like you playing it safe yeah some of y'all feel like y'all don't have the love to give or they could be feeling like they don't have the love to give. They could be burnt out. Somebody feel like they, the need to be in control of the situation because they really feel like they don't have anything to give somebody. Whether this is physically or emotionally or both. Or they just don't want to. Because like I said, maybe somebody want to be single because they know they need to heal. That could be the case. Wow. Yeah, somebody's still holding on to a past situation, but it's exhausting the crap out of them. You know, but I feel like some of y'all could be having second thoughts, though. Or it could be somebody else that walked away could be having second thoughts about coming back. Some of y'all, this is a Virgo that walked away from you. Or another water sign, a Pisces or a Cancer, they could be having second thoughts about coming back with y'all. And um, you know it's crazy because somebody could be so used to not getting the love back in return. It's like. they rather just, it's just like somebody is too comfortable. Somebody is too used to their ex and it could be you or it could be them. It's like somebody is comfortable where they at. Some of y'all is just telling me that your person left you for somebody else that they was with before you, before they left you. And I'm talking about the past situation. Or it could be the new person. Some of y'all, they may have left you, I mean, left the, um, their ex to be with you, but you rejected them. Y'all take what resonates, but I'm looking at it this way. If there is an ex that walked away from you, Leo, they walked away because they were still holding on to another individual and they thought that things were going to work out. But it's telling me that they could be having second thoughts about, you know, coming back to you. Some of y'all probably knew that your ex was going to come back. And that could be the reason why that Six of Cups right there, because maybe you always knew that you was not supposed to be with this new person. Because your heart and your mind was still with this with this past person. But let's dive deeper and see what else is taking place. Because I don't know. Some of y'all, y'all exes having second thoughts about coming back. Even though you did push the new person away. I don't know. Or if this is um you thinking about, you know, getting together with this new person. It could be that way. Somebody could be having second thoughts about giving this new person a chance. 
after pushing them away. But it's telling me that trying to control their emotions and trying to control the situation itself is leaving them feeling empty inside. Because some of y'all probably did fall in love with a new person, but maybe you feel like you couldn't have, you couldn't gave it because you felt like your heart and your mind was with somebody else. But deep down inside, maybe you do love a new person. Some of y'all do not love this new person, you know. But it's telling me that somebody is having second thoughts about giving it a try, giving a relationship a try, whether this is a past person or a new person. And I feel like it's a new person without the Knight of, of Wands. This situation got somebody going nuts about the situation itself. Maybe you guys could be afraid of this person having your heart, Leo, like this new person. Some of y'all could be afraid of this new person having full control over your heart, right? Like you, That's what you're afraid of. Some of y'all are afraid of giving somebody your whole heart because of a past betrayal, right? And maybe you could be trying to like have that control over the feelings that you have for the new person because you feel like this person may end up, you know, capable of leaving you like the past. That could be the case. Some of y'all could be afraid of the, this new person leaving you like the past, Leo. Because I feel like you guys are tired of it. I knew it. Y'all could be going nuts about moving things forward with the past, I mean, with the new, and giving them a chance. But I just felt like y'all keep resisting. Somebody is holding back that. It's like some of y'all afraid of love for real because of a past experience. Some of y'all could be afraid of, of having real, genuine love. Because I feel like the new person that you're dealing with, this person is genuine for real. Some of y'all could be a Scorpio or a fire sign. Or it could be a water sign given to you. And I'm talking about the new love, but it's like when it comes to love, a lot of y'all have just been so exhausted that you could be afraid of it. Some of y'all could be holding back from that love that this person, you know, given to you. Because I feel like y'all are afraid of being close. Yep. And you afraid of getting this close to the point you find out that this person may not be, in lo be loyal to you. That's what y'all afraid of. A lot of y'all having second thoughts about this new love because... Getting close to this person, it's a scary thing, especially if, you know, you ended up finding out that this person is not loyal. That will be devastating to you. You just don't want the past repeating itself. Some of y'all are trying to control yourself and your emotions with new people because you are afraid of the past repeating itself in a different body. And that could be the reason why you could be going back and forth about you know, reaching out to the person that this new person you rejected because maybe you feel like you cannot be loyal to this person because your heart is still with the past. Even though you resent the past, it's like you know that your heart is still with the past, if that makes sense. So it's telling me that a lot of y'all have mixed feelings about the past. You don't know if you should hold on to the past or you don't know if you should let go of the past. But it is telling me that the past is not loyal to you. You're not. Yes, they do think about coming back, but they know that if they come back, they're not going to be loyal to you. I'm seeing it. Don't get it twisted. The past do think about you, but they know that they're not going to be loyal to you. But just know that y'all could have y'all, you know, differences about the past too. Like you have like a love and hate relationship with this past situation. And that could be the reason why you know, it's like you kind of like got your guard up, Leo. It's like y'all playing it safe because you're just tired of people leaving you behind. Every time you get close to somebody, you could just be tired of, you're just tired of people leaving you and not being loyal to you. Like being close, like getting intimate with this new person is frightening to you. It really is. And I don't blame y'all for playing it safe and rejecting this new person at all, you know, but... Some of y'all, the way y'all going about it is kind of harsh for real. And it hurt this new person's feelings. It really does. But I just felt like some of y'all just need to heal. And then think about giving this new person a chance. Because nine times out of ten, y'all really going to end up hurting this new person. Then Y'all probably already hurt this new person. Or they, you could be the new person that they hurt. Y'all just take what resonates. But... 
like holding on to this new person and knowing that you're not healed from the past, it could like literally have this person switch up on you. Like they will stop being loyal to you, Leo, because of the way you end up treating them. That's if I'm giving y'all examples of what would happen if you give this person, if you have second thoughts on giving this new person a chance. You see what I'm saying? And um, it can lead down to some form of disaster because of you. Or once again, flip off the energy because of them. But I feel like some of y'all are playing it safe because you're afraid of the past repeating itself, basically, with this new person, Leo. And being mean is not the way to go about this situation, for real, for real. And I'm just being honest because I feel like the new person is genuine. I feel like they're giving you their all. They're proving themselves to you that they gonna could be consistent with you, Leo, but... I just felt like your mind is not there. Your mind is is in the past. Somebody's mind is in the past. Okay, let's 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 see how this what's going on. Let's see what's going on between you and this new person in regards of feelings and stuff like that. Cause I am seeing with you, y'all are resisting reaching out to this person and giving them a chance. You know, after having second thoughts because of this the, the disloyalty, you just afraid of you not being able to give them what they want in a relationship or you afraid of this person stop giving you what you want in a relationship even though you don't really want a relationship it's like some of y'all do want a relationship but you just don't know if it's with that person because you know that anybody is capable of switching up on you you know what i'm saying just like the past situation has happened to you it's like you, you got your guard up you ready to go you are ready for anybody to switch up on you. You know what I'm saying? It's like a good thing, but then again, it's a bad thing, especially if somebody is being genuine. But I'm here just in case. Maybe you move in this way just in case. Somebody switch up. Dang, these cars is just flying everywhere. It says, I'm stuck in visions of us together. So somebody could be in some form of illusions. Like I said, some of y'all still could need to get out of y'all heads out of the cloud with this past person because I'm telling y'all, their intentions, if they was to come back, it wouldn't be what you want it to be. It would not. They're not going to be loyal to you. You know, they'll hold on to you just for the benefit to act like to uh, to get something from you. Whether it's sex or money or whatever it is that you got to offer. Like I said, they was already talking crap about you behind the scenes with somebody that, you know what I'm saying, that they gave a chance to, another chance to, or somebody they decided to deal with. It can be anybody, right? But some of y'all could be in some form of illusion and driving yourself kind of crazy about the situation with this new person. So it's telling me that some of y'all are in an illusion about the past. The rest of you guys, it's, it's like a both. I don't know why, but I feel like you got mixed feelings about the past. Because there is resentment at the same time of you having your heart and your mind still with them. Um, The rest of you guys about the new person is telling me that, you know... You could be thinking the worst of the worst when it's really not what you, it is, you know, you could be, it's like the seven of cups. You could be like in some form of like fantasy land, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all, I knew it. Y'all emotions is all over the place. Like I said, one minute, some of y'all are your heart and your mind with the past. And then the next minute you resent the past over how they did you, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like you and your, your mind about Oh, what this new person could do to you, what the past has done to you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're trying to place this person in a box and that's not even who they really is. You know, when they have already proved to you who they really was. It's just that some of y'all heads is in the cloud too much. I mean, some of y'all need to get out of y'all head and get grounded. Because if you do decide to get this, this new person a chance, this new love a chance, y'all are bound to break this person's heart like y'all already did. Because some of y'all have broke this new person's heart. You know, whether this was intentionally or not intentionally. But the rest of you guys, their heart probably wasn't broken. Maybe they just walked away and accepted. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing this different energies for different groups of Leo. So y'all just take what resonates. Listen, right now I say, so it's best for y'all to take some time out to yourself, Leo, and think about, you know, whether this is what you really want with this new person, you know, or whether you're even really ready for a relationship. Because like I said, some of y'all are not really ready for a relationship because you need to get grounded. Your emotions are all over the place. 
you know, and you just need to find yourself to, again. Some of y'all still, y'all not yourself right now. Even if you are dealing with a new person or was, y'all just not yourself. Y'all not capable of giving y'all all and giving your best in this relationship. So Spirit is saying that some of y'all need some time out to yourself, basically. That's exactly what it's telling me. I don't know why Spirit got me giving y'all advice because I normally don't like to. Because people going to do what they want to do regardless. But it's telling me to say that. Like some of y'all just need to figure yourself out and give yourself some time to heal and let go of this past. Because their intentions to you, they're not good. They're not. You know, whether they with somebody new or not. Or with somebody old or not. They're not loyal to them either. Look, the past person, the person that left you. To be alone and suffer from the past of this past person, they hold on to somebody that they're not loyal to. So really, you're not missing out on anything good. You're not. You ain't missing nothing good from the past. I promise you that. You're not. This is your, your time to take that energy and and heal. Somebody. Somebody be taking energy and heal because they all over the place. This situation got me all out of breath. <laughs> it really do. And I feel like y'all could just have anxiety. And that could, could be the reason why I feel so out of breath because you could be in full of anxiety right now, you know, about the past, this new love, the way you've been treated. You know, it, it's frightening to you. It's scary to you, you know, and I don't blame y'all. But some of y'all, this new love is your twin flame. Some of y'all, this new love is your twin flame, no lie. I knew it. You just need to heal. You just need to do the inner work. Don't allow them to get away now. Just... Tell them you need some time to yourself. And um, y'all can handle, to be honest, y'all can handle it the way y'all want to. If you don't care about this person getting in the way and you really want to be the best version of yourself for this person, then just take that time, you know, off away from this person. But it's telling me that this new person is y'all twin flame. You just need to clear the past out of your life. Cleanse your energy. Cleanse your space. Get grounded. I knew it. Spirit wants y'all to get grounded because... It's like you find the person that is for you, but you don't know how to act. You don't know what to do with this person because your emotions are so all over the place. That's what I'm seeing. Or they don't know what to do with you because their emotions are all over the place. I hope they see this message. <laughs> but it's telling me that that's exactly what it's telling me. This is your twin flame. If you believe in twin flames, if not, you can say your other half. You just need to heal. Somebody needs to heal and get grounded and cleanse their energy and get over the past. Because they ain't no good. Y'all holding on to a no good mother effer. Whoever this is from the past. Spirit is saying that's the end of that cycle. It's a wrap. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. And y'all take care.